continue with the solving of the IMSU Chem 102 exam question paper of 2019-2020 session. We are on question number two now, question number 2A. Remember, we will start from number one, and we have solved question 1A, we have solved question 2, question 1B. Now we are solving question 2A. If you did not follow up with question 1A and 1B solving, you can go back to the previous video and watch them. Here, the question number 2A says, write the electronic configuration for the following elements with their atomic numbers and masses as follows. Oxygen is given as 8, carbon is given as 6, aluminum is given as 13, nitrogen is given as 7, and cashew is given as 20. Now we are asked to write the electronic configuration for the following elements and the atomic numbers of the elements are given to us. So let's do that. Remember, before you can be able to write electronic configuration, electronic configuration simply means arrangement of the electrons into the orbitals according to their energies. Now, before you can be able to write the electronic configuration of elements perfectly well, you should be able to know how the orbitals are arranged. Which comes first, after that, which comes next. If you want to know that, you should be able to construct this table on how to arrange the orbitals. If you write one once, write two two times, write three three times, write four four times, I can stop at five. I'll write five. I can stop here. Let me stop here. Remember what I did? I wrote one once, two twice, three thrice, four, four times, five, five times, and so on. Now, the orbitals we have are S orbital, P orbital, T, and F. In this order, S, P, D, F. Remember, S means sharp. Sharp. P means principal. T means diffused. And F means fundamental. These are the orbitals in their order. Remember, the S orbital carries maximum of two electrons. It cannot carry more than two. It can carry one, it can carry two. P orbital carries maximum of six, which means P can carry one, it can carry two, it can carry three, four, five, and six, but cannot carry more than six. Maximum D can carry is 10, and maximum F can carry is 14. How do you know? If you know the one of S, can know the rest. Just be adding 4, 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus 4, 14. These are the maximum number of electrons each of these orbitals can accommodate. Now, on the first vertical line here, you fill it up with S. That is the first orbital. Fill them up. All of them here, S. The second row here, you fill it up with P. This way. And the third line, you fill it up with D. The fourth line is first, second, third, the fourth, you fill with F. By the time we have our new orbital, which should be G, we'll be able to fill here as 5G. But at this level, we are not getting up to this. Now, when you have constructed, constructed this table, you make a straight line like this. It means that the first orbital you will feel when you are feeling the electrons, the first orbital you will feel in is the 1s orbital. After 1s, you have the 2s. After 2s, you have 2p. After 2p, 3s. You follow the line. After 3s, 3p. And after 3p, after 3p, 4s. After 4s, 3d. After 3D, 4P. After 4P, 5S. And so on. This is how it goes. Now we are going to start the feeling of the electrons. Follow this direction. Follow the direction of the arrow. 
this way. One S comes first, remember. S cannot carry more than two. Now, in oxygen, I want to write the configuration for oxygen. In oxygen, there are eight electrons there. You can see the atomic number is given. Atomic number means number of protons. And in an atom, the number of protons and the electrons are equal. So if I have eight protons, it means I have eight electrons. And what I'm distributing into the orbitals are the electrons. So I have eight electrons. How do I fill it? The first orbital that will come is the 1s orbital. 1s. Out of the eight electrons, s will carry only two. s cannot carry more than two. Be it 1s or 2s or 10s or any s. As long as it is s, it cannot carry more than two electrons. And the number you write on, the power is the number of electrons given to it. So I have give, I've collected one S and I've given it two. Remember, I have eight electrons. After giving two to one S, it means that one S is filled up. It can't carry more than two. As soon as one S is filled up, the next is this line, two S. It is still S. It can't carry more than two again. I've placed two here. I've placed two here. Out of eight, I've used four. The remaining four. Now, after two S is filled up, the next is what? Two P. Follow the direction. And you know, P can carry up to six. But what I have left is four. I have used two here. I have also used two here, which is four. So I have four remaining. The P here can carry up to that four. So we'll give it four. Remember, P can carry up to six. But what we have left are four electrons. So we'll give it to P. And this is the electronic configuration for oxygen. The next one says carbon. The atomic number of carbon is six, which means there are six protons and there are six electrons. So let's share the electrons to the orbitals. We'll start afresh again because we are dealing with a new one. Start with your one S. Out of these six electrons, S will carry two, remaining four. When one S is filled up, we we'll collect two S. We we'll give it two again. Remaining how many now? Remaining two. Remember, we have used total of four. Remaining two electrons. After two S, the next is two P. This P can carry the remaining two. And this is the electronic configuration for carbon. The next one we have here is aluminum. The atomic number of aluminum is 13, which means there are 13 electrons there. The first orbital is the 1S, which will collect two from the 13, remaining 11. After 1S, you have your 2S, you give it two again, remaining 9. After 2s, you have your 2p. How many do you give p? Now, we have 9 electrons left. From the 9 remaining, p can carry as much as 6. So p has enough now to carry. p is having 6 here. Out of the 9, p has 6. Remaining 3. When 2p is filled up, the next is 3s. 3s carries only 2 because it is s. So out of the remaining three electrons, this three S will carry two, remaining one electron. After three S, the next is three P. So the three P here will carry the one remaining electron. And this is the electronic configuration for aluminum. Now, second to the last one here is nitrogen. And the atomic number is seven, which means we have seven electrons. We we'll distribute again, we'll start with one S, which takes two, remaining five. After one S, we have our two S, which will also take two, as long as it's X, it can't take more than two. Now, it's remaining three. After two S, we have our two P, and you know P can carry more than two, so P can carry the remaining three. This is the electronic configuration for nitrogen. And the last one says calcium. The atomic number is 20, we have 20 electrons, let's go. The first is 1s. After 1s, 1s collects 2. We have 2s, which will also collect 2. We have 2p, which will collect 6. We have 3s, which will collect 2. After 3s, we have 3p, this way. Meanwhile, let's check how many we have used. We have 20 electrons. We have collected 2 plus another 2, that's 4, plus 6, that's 10 plus 2, that is 12, we are here, 3s, that is here, 
when we got to this place, we have 12 already. Now after here, the next is this, 3P. 3P will collect 6. Now, we have collected a total of 18 electrons. This is 2 plus 2, 4 plus 6, 10 plus 2, 12 plus 6, 18. Remaining 2 electrons. After 3P, which is here, the next is 4S. The 4S orbital, as long as it's S, it can carry up to 2 to collect the remaining 2 electrons. And this is the electronic configuration for cash. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we are going to solve question number 2B, which is a question from hybridization. Thank you for watching.